Ooh, what's up OGs, it's Teresa Plus 5 and I'm back up in this gig. Today you guys, I'm going to be door dashing so you guys will come with me to work today. I've already did two deliveries. So my first delivery was to Starbucks. I was already in that area. So I picked up the order, took it to the customer. The order was originally for $6.75, but then when I completed the order, it was $7. So I had made a quick $7. To deliver i think it was a coffee or a frappuccino i don't know y'all and then <clears throat> and then my second order was to chick-fil-a for 525 when i got over there the customer was outside waiting for me so i didn't have to go up the stairs it was in an apartment complex in an apartment complex <laughs> and they had a dog so the dog licked me on the left leg girl yes i got licked on the job it is fun. i got licked on the job but yeah y'all um y'all gonna come along with me today and see what other orders i declined and accept my shift is from 11 a.m to 4 p.m okay so stay tuned for the vlog child i got my doordash bag but i don't even use it but honestly it be in my way y'all but i'm gonna sit it right here I got one question, OGs. So this is my automatic start stop button. It's for um like to supposedly save gas. It's like eco-friendly or something. And when it's on and you're at stop lights or stop signs or something, the car will cut off to try to save gas. And then when you try to <clears throat> go again, it'll crank up the car again. Do y'all think this is effective? Does it save gas or is just just a dupe or something just to have in the car comment down below if y'all think this actually helps save gas so doordash is telling me that the nearest hot spot is wawa's which i already be up here so it's a win-win for me i'm just gonna sit back and see if i get an order hopefully i do because if i don't right now i'm gonna go right over there to Publix. And get my Koneka sausage, because I'm going to make the kids some jambalaya today for dinner. So, it's going to work out. I just seen where this other dasher had got an order, I guess, to Chick-fil-A. Because he had got out with his phone. You know, other dashers can tell if you're a dasher by the way you move. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll have, like, your phone kind of up there on the dashboard on like the little tripod thingy and then you know we can just tell how you move that you're a door dasher because you'll park over here or park over there you know what i'm saying like we be knowing the t's and p's okay but yeah he just got an order so hopefully i get an order too <laughs> so oh geez one of the um subscribers said if i stay in one spot then i'll get all the orders aka chick-fil-a um if i stay by chick-fil-a i'll get all the orders not necessarily because doordash knows the orders that i'll most likely take and what orders i won't most likely take so they're kind of particular about what orders they dispatch me okay i may only go up to five miles Another dasher that's in the area by Chick-fil-A, they may go 10 miles. So they're not going to give me that order that's 10 miles. They're going to give me the one that's 5 miles or less because they know I'm most likely to take that one. So that's how it really goes, you guys. But I get the concept that you're saying, like, since I'm in the area by Chick-fil-A or by the other food restaurants, um, I'm most likely to get the orders, but not necessarily because of that reason. So yeah but i understood your concept so yeah i just wanted to explain it why my eyes look like they black or dark like i got on mascara like i don't had on mascara and smudged it or something girl i don't have on no mascara and it's almost lunchtime too it's like 11 12 a.m so it's close to lunchtime and Chick fil A, they started serving lunch, I think, at like 10 40, something like that. 
So I should be getting an order pretty soon. A order that DoorDash know I'll take. Okay, so OGs, DoorDash gave me a order for $10.50 to go 7.1 miles. And it's to Lowe's for four items. Let me see where the house is. It's way over there in East Tampa that I'm not finna go, y'all. But that's a mm, okay order, but no. So, OGs, DoorDash is giving me the same exact order. I guess because I didn't decline it. So, they're trying to give me the order again and see did I miss it or did I didn't see it or didn't hear it or something like that. But I'm still not going to take the order because it's way over there in East Tampa. I know exactly where it is. My cousin used to stay over there. But 1050 for 7.1 miles, no. It's a shop and go order. But no, I'm going to pass on that. Oh, I also want to inform you guys, if you want to become a dasher or you're already a dasher, you should already know this. But when you don't press the decline button on an order, it still goes towards your acceptance rate. Okay, so whether you actually physically press decline or you just ignore it or you didn't hear it or whatever, it still goes against your acceptance rate. I just want to throw that out there. My acceptance rate is at 41%, I believe, but because I declined this last order, it's probably at 40% now. But yeah, I just want to throw that out there in case you didn't know. Look at this, y'all. Temperature iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. My phone head got too hot, y'all. Oh, geez. DoorDash gave me an order for $24.51 going 10.8 miles to Blackjack Pizza, and it's on West Sly. I think I'm going to take this one. Let's see how this goes. All right, so OGs, this is the order. It's so many pizzas, salads, all that stuff, y'all. <laughs> what the heck did I sign up for? Like, this is a lot of pizzas. This is one, two, three, four, five. And some chicken in the um DoorDash bag. Two salads. Like, girl, this is a lot. But they paying me $24.51. Hopefully, it's a tip added on to that. <laughs> All right, so OGs, I am finally back to the hot spot. But while I was driving back, DoorDash had gave me hella orders, child, that I wasn't finna do. Let me see. Let's see which ones they gave me. They gave me one for $10.75, going 14.8 miles to a restaurant called Bole. I know where Bole is, but I wasn't finna go up way up there. That's by the University of um University of South Florida where I used to go at. I ain't finna go down. And then they gave me an order for $7.25 going 5.9 miles to Moe's Southwest Grill. Wasn't gonna do that because the miles to money ratio just didn't add up. And then the last one they gave me on the way was to Chick-fil-A going 1.8 miles for $4.50. Um, I didn't do that one simply because I wanted to come back in my area. I was way out of my zone. So I wanted to come back in my area where I'm very comfortable at. So I didn't take that order. So now I'm just sitting up here waiting for more orders. But yeah, y'all, that order had... 10 items in it and I think she tipped me $18 and 10 cents or 10 cents or something like that let me see oh so DoorDash gave me $6 and then the customer took me $18.51 so that was a pretty good order but it was far y'all that was far I forgot how many miles it was I listen to the recording when I um go to edit this video, but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and wait on more orders. Okay, so DoorDash gave me an order for Chick Fil A for six dollars for 1.8 miles, so I'm gonna take that. All right, OG, so I got their order. 
in their drink. This drink looks so good. All right, OG, so DoorDash gave me an order to Blackjack Pizza. It was a little bit more than one mile. I couldn't tell because they gave me two orders for the same customer, but I didn't take the first order. So now I'm doing a second order and it's only four minutes away and it was for $6.50. So this is their order. They ordered one pizza. Oh my God, y'all, my head is starting to hurt. Probably because I ain't eat nothing, but I've been drinking water. Hmm. I need to go over there to Publix to get that conca sausage that I was talking about to make the kids jambalaya today. Mm -hmm. So I'm back at the hot spot. I've been drinking water. Pretty much when I um DoorDash, I pretty much fast kind of because it'd be too early in the morning for me to eat anything, and then in the afternoon, that's when I get hungry. So yeah, I'm gonna sit right here till I get my next order. I feel like DoorDash um, kind of limit how much you make a day. I don't know. It might be just me. Or maybe I'm the one who limited myself on how much I make. Because, <laughs> y'all, if I wouldn't have took that $24 order, baby, I probably wouldn't have been at $24. So sometimes you have to step out on the ledge. Step outside of your comfortability and do things you normally wouldn't do for change. Because I said I wanted more orders. Well, I said I wanted to make more money on DoorDash. But to do that, I have to take orders that are further from my hotspot zone. So, yeah. If I wouldn't have took that order, I wouldn't have been probably at $24. So, all right, so I'm still at the hot spot. It kind of like reloads every 10 minutes, like a different hot spot. But never chase hot spots, y'all. I learned that in the beginning the hard way. Never chase hot spots, okay? If it reload in the next 10 minutes and it say Chick fil A, and then it reload 10 minutes later and say, a uh, pizza hut and then they reload in the next 10 minutes and say so wait don't be trying to chase those restaurants down okay stay in one spot if you can like the hottest hot spot and i noticed they don't put the um hot flames on the map anymore they used to but they don't do it no more and i noticed they also don't really give us the peak pay like that anymore to make extra money on every delivery. So DoorDash is cracking down. But I did see where, um, you know, their earnings went down like quarterly or something like that. I was reading on Google. But they still make a lot of money, hell. All right, so DoorDash wants me to do an order from Gertrude's, Gertrude's Chicken. I don't know how to say that, y'all. But it's for 10.3 miles for $7.75. No, ma'am. That's too far. Now they're giving me an order for Jersey Mike's for $2 for 1.8 miles. No, ma'am. You're only paying me $2 to go a little bit less than two miles. Mm -mm. God damn it. I'm bringing down my acceptance um, rate. Okay, so they give me an order for Chick-fil-A for $7.50 for 3.9 miles. Okay, I'm going to do this one, y'all. Because it's right here. Okay, I'm going to do this one. All right, OGs, here's the order. They had no drinks. All right, OGs, I'm going to go in Publix and get this Koneka sausage so I can make the kids some jambalaya. 
They got Sushi Wednesdays here at Publix for $5. Do I need a buddy? No, I don't need a buddy. I'm just getting sausage. Ooh, they got the grab balloons. Those are beautiful. Okay, then they got USA. Class of 2024. Okay, then they got some flowers over there. But I came in here. <gasps> they have sunflowers. Oh my God, I always wanted sunflowers, but I don't know how to take care of them. It's giving color purple. How much are they? It does not say. Oh, $9.99 each. Seasonal sunflower bouquet. Should I get some, y'all? They're so pretty, especially these right here. They $10. I ain't gonna do nothing but die with me, y'all. <laughs> oh well, let's go. Okay. Let's go get the sausage. Okay, so this is what Publix calls their soap antibacterial skin cleanser. I love Publix bathroom, y'all. Look at the LED lights. So pretty. Oh, jeez, look at this. They got a new daily on the market. Blackberry Smash. Hmm. I've never seen that one before. And they got the Raspberry Mojito, Island Runner, and Wildberry Margarita. But this one is new. Okay, let's get the sausage. Oh, should I get some cinnamon bread too while I'm here? I think I should. Okay, so it's $6.89 for one. Okay, make sure they look right, girl. Ooh, child. Okay, this one look good. And then this one looks good. No one, I like this one better. $6.89. All right, let me get the cinnamon bread. I should have got a buggy. Because y'all know when I come shopping, I always get more than what I'm supposed to be getting, child. Oh no, girl, this bread hard. No, ma'am. I published, we're not going to play this for no $4.69. Okay, this one's soft. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Okay, so OGs, it wouldn't make sense for me to come to Publix and then go to Walmart to get the jambalaya mix. So I'm just gonna get it from here, even though I hate to. Oh, I didn't know they had the mild kind. Wow. Okay, so that's 210. Oh my God. Let's see. This the family size, it's 349. Okay, I'll get two of these. 349, 349, 680, no, seven something. Yeah, that's it. All right, I had to get me a little, um, what you call this, y'all? The little, y'all know what this is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a little basket, there we go, basket. Do they still have the strawberries? Yes, they do. Let's see. It's three for $10. See, the other ones were so sweet and good, y'all. These are big. Oh my god, these are huge, y'all. Okay, I probably damn. Okay, so this will be my first pick. And then mm, I don't know about these. Let's see about these. Mm. These look pretty good, okay. Oop, one I'm a little off, but get that one. Let's see about this one. I don't know, let me see about this one. Let me see, let me see. Mm. Girl, I get it. Oh, girl, I thought that was mold, girl, okay. Those strawberries are huge. Okay, I'll get these. Sure. Mm, no, girl. All 
All right, OG, so Jeremy needs pre-popped popcorn for his class party they're having. So let me see how much the popcorn is. It's usually like the bags. There we are. See how much they are. $2.49, that's not bad. I wonder, can I get them on food stamps, child? I'm gonna get two of them. Okay, oh Lord, this ain't gonna fit, girl. Oh my God. Girl, this not gonna fit, girl. Oh my God. When they expire? 526. Okay. I'll get these. Okay. Girl, this ain't, girl, girl, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, OGs, they got the hot and spicy popcorn. I should get one of these. I'll get this one. Girl, I can't even, girl, oh my God. Girl, this ain't gonna work, girl. <laughs> this ain't gonna work, girl. Oh my God. All right, y'all, so I'm leaving Publix, and um, how much I spent now? Ooh, like 50 something dollars, I think. And then um, I got like an hour and 30 minutes before I go get Taylor. I'm gonna try to dash for that whole hour and 30 minutes and get whatever orders I wanna take within that time period. And then, when I pick up Taylor, I'm probably gonna go home and make the jambalaya and then go get the kids from there after school program. And then, yeah, that's gonna be my day. But I'm gonna sit here and wait for more DoorDash orders. All right, OG, so I decided to end my shift a little bit earlier, um, simply because I wanna eat. I'm so hungry, I ain't ate nothing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat something and probably put these little few groceries away and then I'm done. Then I gotta go get Taylor. So if you guys like this, coming to work with me, door dashing, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video so we can grow and also put your notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I post new content. Cause you gotta ring that bell. A ring, never, ring, never. A ring, a ring, a ring. Bye.